Hello, I'm BDS Stevens. Uh, in this video, I'm going to analyze a malicious uh, document using uh, my OLA DOM tool to analyze a Word document here. But then I'm just going to use uh, standard Linux tools and other tools to uh, analyze uh, the microcode, the VBA code. So let's start with OLA Dump. This is our sample. And in stream 8, it contains Marcos. Uh, rather a lot of uh, VBA lines. So let's take a look at this. Select 8, decompress VBA macros. And here uh, indeed we have our macros. Uh, probably a lot of obfuscation here, meaningless code. And we need to find actually the, the code that interests us. Now, um, I once wrote a diary entry on the Internet Storm Center with uh, one simple method to try to find uh, the uh, important code, and uh, that is grabbing uh, for dots. Mm -hmm. Because a dot here, a single dot, is uh, used in method invocation. And so with that we can select lines that have a method invocation. But here, unfortunately, we get a lot of uh, output. Usually you don't get that much. Mm -hmm. And that's because here uh, of the debug assert that contains a dot. Now, debug assert here is uh, just obfuscation. So again, I'm going to use grab to get rid of it. So I'm going to invert the selection and I'm going to select debug assert. So this way I select everything that doesn't contain debug assert. Okay. And I still have uh, a lot of code here. You can see a lot of variable assignments eh, that receive the function uh, result of function integer int with uh, float. So that's probably two obfuscation. So let's get rid of that too. Again, with the grep dash V. Like this. Okay, and now we end up with just a couple of lines. Two application runs, that's what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. And this one here has text pointer 26. And now uh, um, we also have those two lines here, text pointer. Uh, that's because they contain a dot. Uh, and that's lucky for us because now we can actually see that text pointer 26, uh, it's a string concatenation, uh, obfuscated string concatenation. And probably the command here is somewhere in those lines. So let's grab uh, for uh, text pointer 26. Like this. And indeed here, uh, this is string concatenation and you have text pointer empty string and then each time concatenation with the output of the if function eh, where depending on this expression, it will select this string or this string. Now, if you take a close look here at this first column, you can see SCRIPT colon HTTP. So this reads as script HTTP and so on. So this is actually the script that we want. So we're going to select those strings here to uh, concatenate and uh, extract our command. Now we just want these lines with the if, not the text pointer and not this one here. So instead of grabbing for text pointer, I'm going to grab for if that function, if function, yeah. And that's indeed what we want. Now, one way to select this line here is to use the awk tool, the AWK tool. Because you could say that each line here is a record composed of three fields where the comma is a field separator. So this is field one, this is field two, and this is field three. And we are interested in field two. And we can select this like that with the awk tool. The separator is the comma. And I'm going to select or print field number two. Like this. And then indeed we can see our script HTTP. Now we want to concatenate this and also get rid of the space and uh, the double quote. 
and we can do that with the translate command tr and delete those characters we don't want. So we don't want the space, we don't want the double quote, but I should escape this. And we don't want a new line and because we want to concatenate like this. And voila, here we have our command scrim HTTP. Uh, so it will download this scriptlet and then uh, execute it, provided it has not been uh, uh, blocked this uh, script monitor by uh, recent patches uh, from Microsoft.